So in this problem, we have a block of mass 4 kilos slides down a rough slope at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. The coefficient of friction is 0.4. The block comes to rest after 15 metres. What was the block's initial speed? OK, so let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. So here's my slope. That's 20 degrees. We have the block, which has a mass of 4 kilos. So it has a weight of 4g. Let's break the weight up into its components. So that's going to be 20 degrees. This is going to be 4g sine 20 and 4g cosine 20. There's going to be a frictional force and a normal reaction force. OK. And it's going to travel 15 metres before it comes to rest. OK. Where the initial speed uh, is what we want to work out. The final speed is going to be zero. OK. So before I go any further, I've got to figure out what that friction is. OK. So I need to work out that. So what I'm going to do is resolve perpendicular to the slope, taking that way as positive. So R, take away 4G cosine 20 is going to be equal to 0. So R is 4G cosine 20. Now, I know because it's moving, the friction is going to be equal to mu times r, so 0 0.4 times that. So 0 0.4 times that would be 1.6g cosine 20. So now I can use the work energy principle. The initial gravitational potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy plus or minus the work done is going to be equal to the final gravitational potential energy plus the final kinetic energy. So the initial gravitational potential energy will be mgh. Now m is 4, so we'll have 4g times h, which is going to be the height, essentially, of this right angle triangle. It's got a hypotenuse of 15, the angle's 20, so that's going to be 15 sine 20. Plus the initial kinetic energy, which will be 1 half times m times v squared. Remember, that's the v I want to find, the initial speed. Plus or minus the work done. Now, We've got the frictional force, which is taking energy out of the system. So take away the frictional force, 1.6 g cosine 20, and that's acting for 15 metres. And that's going to be equal to the final gravitational potential energy, and considering where it stops as being zero, OK? so. Uh, zero in height from the ground, so we can put the GPE to as zero, and the final kinetic energy, because it's come to rest, will also be zero. OK, so we have um, 2v squared is equal to... Right, let's... Pop this in. So 1.6 times 15. So 24g cosine 20. So moving that one to the other side. And then uh, take away 60g sine 20. Okay, so divide through by 2 and then square root. So v will be the square root of 12g cosine 20 take away 30g sine 20 so what's that 12 times I'm going to put in g is 9.8 now times cosine 20 take away 30 times 9.8 times sine of 20 and we get an initial speed of 3.15 
meters per second to three significant figures.